new this year. If you pre-register, we are doing a barbecue Friday night. So the participants will receive uh, two tickets for free barbecue. All others are welcome. We do ask for a free will donation. The 8th Annual Thunder on the Plains Car, Truck, Tractor, and Cycle Show is set for September 15th and 16th. Organizers Shelby Doty and Jackie Lang stop by to give us all the details on this episode of The Post Podcast. This year, we are, um, I guess, first of all, thanks to the Otleys for allowing us to um, have our car show out to their premises the last couple of years. Um, and back by popular demand, we are going to be back um, in the parks. Um, this year, we'll be down to Municipal. Um, and we will have Main Street closed off down in that area. Um, so, yeah, we're looking fun, uh, forward to that. Yeah, we have, um, it, it's, we're going to have it blocked off kind of like they do with Wild West Fest. We have that whole area down there. We're going to have our beer garden. We have, um, I think, three or four food get food vendors down there. And we're expecting um, a lot of cars, trucks, motorcycles. And this year we've included tractors. We hope to get um, those people out there that have those old tractors that want to show them off, bring them in, and we want to count them. Very cool. Yeah, because there are some really cool old tractors. I know a couple guys here in Ellis County that collect them. And yeah, that's, it's almost as cool as seeing the old cars, just because you think about the history and the work and the machines and some of them, you know, were used for decades out on the farm. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Um, in addition, uh, for kids, we're looking at having the bounce house, um, looking for some organizations, maybe uh, some school cheerleaders or wrestlers or football who's looking to maybe make some additional funds or need a uh, fundraising project, um, come out and do face painting. And, um, I mean, whatever they can come up with that might be fun for the kids. Um, and certainly, you know, we're willing to do a donation back. So, um, yeah, let us know. Very cool. Yeah. And I want to talk about the notion donation piece because that's such a huge part of what you do. But I, I before we get there, you, so you mentioned you're moving back to the park I know space had been an issue, which kind of caused the move up to the the, the north spot. Um, do, do you have any concerns there, or is this just because it's so hot? It's such more so much more comfortable down there under the shade. Well, it was hot on the asphalt. That's that's always a, that's just a given. But we have a lot of room down there now, um, especially since um, we've got. Uh, the other side of Main Street, the, the grassy NCK area yeah. that's on the north side or the south side of Otec. Um, I think we'll have room for a lot of cars down there. We aren't concerned about space at all. Well, very good. And the Frontier Park, actually, where we used to be, um, you know, we're kind of limited down there. Um, you can park in certain places. You can only pitch tents in certain areas, you know, so it's kind of restricted because it is a national um, yeah. historical a historical park um so we're just excited and and folks are excited to be down to municipal and with us being able to close main street down there in that block and uh, like jackie said use the across uh, field parking and then we've got the parking lot there um, of the nck building too so yeah should be a great time and NCK has been really generous with us. They're letting us use actually the inside of their building for registration. So we've got that. Um, we'll have that all set up inside. And um, they've just been really generous letting us use whatever we need to use. And something else new this year, um, if you pre-register, uh, we are doing a barbecue Friday night. Um so the participants will receive uh, two tickets for uh, the free barbecue. Um, all others are welcome. We do ask for a uh, free will donation um, as we do donate back to the not-for-profits um, of Ellis County. So, yeah, uh, DJ that evening as well, right, yes, and Saturday. we will have the so. DJ that evening. Also, if you're planning on coming to the car show on Saturday and you haven't pre-registered by then, um, 
we will have it set up where you can pre-register for the car show on Friday night, and then that will include your uh, barbecue tickets for that night. Very cool. And pre-registrations, um, they do receive not only the barbecue, two free tickets, also a free T-shirt. So uh, kind of an incentive to get pre-registered. Yeah, that, I imagine that helps smooth it out a little bit if you've got to most that out of the way before you actually get down to the grounds on Saturday. Oh, it makes it makes it go much smoother for everybody. If if you're pre-registered, basically all you just have to come up and say, "Hey, I'm I'm John Smith," and we hand you your packet and you're off on your way. Yeah. Yeah. So make it easy. Go ahead and get pre-registered if you're thinking about going out to this thing again. That's coming up Friday, September fifteenth, and the car show Saturday, September sixteenth. But I want to talk about, before we run out of time, the donations you guys do, because this is huge. And I, you handed me a flyer as we're coming in, so I, I don't have it, but I'm seeing the number here, $80,000 raised. Mm-hmm. Right. We, um, we actually started in 2016. And donations back then, um, the annual, what we gave away in the first year was probably somewhere around $3,000. Um, last year, we gave back over 25000 so in total, we've given back over eighty thousand back to the community over the over the years that we've been in in existence. That's incredible, and it's such a fun event. This is one of the situations I really love this because it's a win win win. You get to go down, have some fun, see the classic cars, and you guys are doing good for the community, raising funds and giving that away. That's so cool. And I wonder before we run out of time, any other last thoughts or anything that people need to know about this event? Where can they find more information? Maybe. You can go to our website, which is thunderontheplainsks.com. You can register on our website there and uh, find out all the information about our organization. We also have a Facebook page that's um, Thunder on the Plains KS if you're looking for it on Facebook. Okay. And the registrations, you can, they are open now? Yes. Registration's open now. And... We encourage everybody to pre-register. Like I said, it makes it so much easier when you show up. Mm-hmm. Tell your friends, get it on your calendar, mark it down again. Coming up September 15th and 16th, the Thunder on the Plains car, truck, cycle show this this year with tractors. With tractors. tractors. Yes. And I, you know, we might just mention that without our sponsors in the local community that help back us and, and make this possible, we wouldn't be able to get back like we do. And we have so many, so many great sponsors that give. I mean, we have people that give that, that like Eagle is one of our biggest sponsors. You know, they support us so much. And we have people that give like Eagle does and then people that give just what they can. Um, and anything is, is welcome and accepted and just really, really appreciated.